Cells must divide for the body to grow and to replace damaged or old cells. It is important that we have a safe mechanism for cells to divide without mistakes being made. The cell cycle consists of an ordered set of events that take place in a cell, leading to its division. There are four phases in the cycle, G1, S, G2 and M. The cell cycle is closely regulated at three checkpoints. Simply put, progression through these checkpoints requires activation of a number of cyclin-dependent kinases CDKs, by their protein partners, the cyclins. Cyclin levels vary throughout the cycle. In contrast, cyclin-dependent kinases are always present, but they are only active when bound to their corresponding cyclin. The resulting complexes have various effects, but all of them affect DNA replication and cell division. Cells enter the cycle in response to growth factors. During the first phase of the cycle, G1 or growth 1 phase, they begin to increase in size and produce proteins and new organelles. The first checkpoint is found at the end of G1. In order to progress the G1 checkpoint, the cell must activate two CDKs. CDK2 is activated by cyclin E and CDK4 is activated by cyclin D. The net result is phosphorylation of the retinoblastoma protein, or PRP, by either of the two complexes, preventing it from binding to its partner, the transcription factor E2F. Once free of PRP, it is E2F that promotes progression beyond G1. The next step is S phase or synthesis phase, in which DNA replication takes place. E2F initiates this phase by increasing levels of the next cyclin, cyclin A. Cyclin A forms a complex with CDK2 and this in turn enables the start of DNA replication. All of the cell's genetic material is duplicated, so that at the end of the phase the cell has two identical copies of its genome. Once the DNA has been replicated, the cell enters the third phase, G2 or growth 2. During this phase, it will keep increasing in size and producing proteins in preparation for mitosis. The second checkpoint is located at the end of G2 phase. The cell must now check that the DNA has been replicated completely and that there is no damage to it. This test is one of the many functions of P53. Protein P53 can pause the cell cycle while DNA repair takes place. If the cell is badly damaged, it triggers cell death. If there is no DNA damage or it can be repaired, the cycle continues. At the end of G2, cyclin B and its corresponding kinase, CDK1, form an active complex that allows the cell to enter M phase or mitosis, the final phase of the cell cycle. During mitosis, there is a third and last checkpoint in which the cell checks whether the chromosomes are aligned and attached to the mitotic spindle. Once this is verified, the nucleus divides. Finally, after the genetic material has been segregated, the cytoplasm divides and the initial cell becomes two identical daughter cells. Such a complex system ensures that cells within the body can replicate time after time without mistakes being made.